<laughs> Welcome, my friends. Dom from the Otaku Room. We're here. Spring season 24. And boom, boom, boom. There's a reason that Mashoko Tensei is the GOAT. You know, there's just something that's so unique, so captivating, and so special about Mashoko Tensei that, like, it really is catapulted to one of the best isekai, one of the best anime of all time, and you can find a plethora of reasons to make that case. Alternatively, of course, as always, haters do as haters do. You know, at the end of the day, there's some anime like One Piece that I just simply don't like, but I recognize that it is a masterpiece in a lot of people's eyes. And on that case, I'd be on the hating side of that. So at the end of the day, I understand this show's not for everybody. And to that side of the of the pond, you could say, I completely get it. You know, like everything else, it's just not for you. But Mashoko Tensei Season 2 Part 2 is here and you know, I'm always very curious to see on like, OK, what are we going to get as we jump back into the season? And unlike some other shows that are returning, like Slime Anime, it's returning for a brand new season with Mashoko Tensei. We are picking up on the next core. Now, what they've done in season past with season one uh, is they, they split it up into two cores. And there was like a three to six month, I think, gap in between season one part one season one part two but with season two there's been like i think about a year you know probably eight months to eight to 14 months before you know since we've got in the first part of season two so it's been a while in comparison to that waiting time of season one so i was interested to see okay what are they going to do here you know as we are in the core two or part two of season two and the reality is they did exactly what i wanted is they didn't give us give us a recap they didn't waste any time they just got right back into continuing the story and i absolutely love that because last time you know, we ended the season with uh, the marriage proposal between Rudius and between Sophie and him talking to the Princess Aryan and, you know, him basically declaring his love and what he's going to do. And he spent this the better part of this episode figuring that out. And this literally is not like there's months or weeks. It's like the next day from the last time that we picked up here. So he comes in and he announces to, you know, he announces to the class, he announces to Cliff and, and Zanuba and you know and the beast girls and he like he's looking at them like mm, what's up baby girls and they're like yo shit rudy is in heat yo i laughed so hard at that i was like yo he about to eat these beast girls up they're like oh it's happening they're like oh if if you have his baby you can have infinite meat forever <laughs> like they're so silly i love it so much it's like ugh just so freaking just so freaking funny uh and they you know they open up with that and then rudius spends the, you know the other part of the episode he's like okay well what do i gotta do to actually like you know uh get married and you know so he, he seeks out cliff's advice and he's like well typically people buy a house he's like oh shit that's right like paul bought a house you know uh what am i gonna do you know what i mean and uh, he goes and he looks for houses and he finds one. And, of course, he finds a haunted one because, of course, he does. He takes Zanuba and Cliff and lots of funny moments again right then and there as, like, Zanuba breaks down the door. Cliff's like, yo, what do I do, bro? He's like, yo, do some divine magic, bro. He's like, all right, cool, I got it. I just love how Rudius became true friends with Zanuba. Uh, you know, considering how they first met, considering on how he was like the decapitator prince, uh, considering on how, you know, he uh, his first interactions were him with him was like, you know, him being in jail. I love his relationship with Zanabal. Zanabal is one of the best characters uh, of the show, in my in my opinion. And then I love how that special episode, you know, that they had with Eris and Eris doing the goblin the goblin fight. I think it was the goblins or something like that. Uh, but, you know, with Cliff and everything, I love how Cliff has come back into the show. And then now he's with uh, Lise or whatever, L Lina, Lina Lise. And I like how he's like, you know, he has this thing here. And then obviously Zanuba has Julie. So who knows if she'll grow up and be his partner or something. I don't really know what will, what will happen there. Uh, but it's really cool just to kind of see how he's made these like true friendships. Of course, he has Nanahoshi as well, too, who he tried to seek out advice. And Nanahoshi's like, I just want to go home. <laughs> and it's like, yo, is this girl ever going to go home? We don't know. You know what I mean? So I love, love seeing it. And they talk about his first love. And it's just I know I'm bouncing out around everywhere. I just genuinely love the friendships uh, that he's made with Zanuba, the friendships that he's made with... Um, uh, with Cliff, the friendships that he made with Nanahoshi, 
uh, the Beast Girls, Rinia and Rinia and Linia, Rinia and Linia. Does that sound right to me? That does, that doesn't sound that doesn't sound right. Uh, Rinia for sure. I think uh, Del 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 uh, and I don't know what, what's the other girl's name. The the one who likes the the one who's always eating. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But I like I genuinely like the the friendships that she's made that they've made there. I like how they 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 think of him as his master. So it's like yo. Is he going to get married to them too? Like question mark, you know what I mean? Or like, will will they be maids or something, you know? So anyways, I love that. I love that he actually went to go find the house, uh, you know, which he did. And he found a haunted house and they took him there and they found a doll. It was like the decapitator doll, you know, like the murder doll. And apparently somebody, you know, at some point in life, whoever was the owner of this mansion that he found, because he was trying to find a place where he could, you know, host a princess and have a big family. And he found this effing mansion uh, at a good price because it was haunted. And they found a uh, a doll that could be resuscitated or, 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 or could be, you know, uh, animatronic, could be alive. And the house was owned by somebody who was deeply researching this stuff so he he ended up passing the the research onto Zanaba because he was really passionate about it so can't wait to see them find out that but like imagine animatronic dolls and like dolls that can come to life with magic and stuff that's so cool and then you 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 put in rudius's like you know skills to be able to make lifelike dolls like Zanaba gonna be a king bro uh so i thought that was really cool as well too and then obviously rudius goes and he he fixes up the mansion and he shows Sylphie and they share a really tender moment. He asked her to marry her again, which I thought was really, really uh, cool. Obviously, she has to, you know, assist, keep assisting uh, Aryan and stuff. But, like, I really, really love all of these tender moments and stuff. It's like, oh, I love what they're doing so far with the season. And one of the things in season two that I really um, uh, exalt is not the word, that I really praised and one of the things in season two that I really, really praised and had high praise for was its ability to shift from fantasy, magic, action, adventure to a school anime. And it did it so well and so flawlessly. And then now, once again, we're still in school, but now we're kind of swapping into like him trying to figure out life and marriage and love and romance. And like it's semi is semi swapping genres once again, I'm like, oh. And Mashoko Tensei just does it so flawlessly, like the direction, the producing, the the writing, the the way that the characters are captivated there, the way that they're captured, the way that the voice acting is done. It all just comes and blends together so well. So Mashoko Tensei, I'm so glad that it's back. Uh, can't wait to see what ends up happening. You know, at the end of the day, the only thing I really want from this show is my baby girl, Roxy. Roxy, Roxy. I can't wait till Roxy comes back into this thing. I don't know where she's going to fit in, but I can't wait to see my baby girl Roxy come. That's, that's been the one thing that, like, since season two started, like, because we missed, you know, we missed crossing paths with her so much uh, when, you know, when he got his evil eye and uh, all that stuff. So I'm like, when is he going to cross paths with her again? And she's obviously out there searching for uh, for Zenith. And it's like, ugh. When is that going to get started? But I'm going to be patient because the the content that we're getting is just so good. And even if this season or even if this core is just completely focused on him and Sylphie, I won't be mad at it. But at the end of the day, Roxy has my heart in the show. You know, she's she's number one for me. It really goes Roxy, Eris, Sylphie for me uh, in that order between those three girls. And if any other girls come into play, I guess we'll we'll redo the thing there. But really for his for his main three, you know. Um, that's how it goes for me. So anyways, let me know what you guys thought about the return of Mashoko Tensei in the, in the comments down below. This episode, Chef's Kiss, 10 out of 10. Instantly, you know, best anime of the season. Right under that for me so far this season is that time I got reincarnated as a slime. And then the rest, you know, it kind of just depends on how I'm feeling of that day. But man, there's just something so special about Mashoko Tensei. And, you know, we're back, baby. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next week for episode two. Season 2, Part 2, Core 2, whatever. All right. Look forward to seeing you guys' comments. Make sure you guys hit like before you leave, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.